G'day. Well, this is a bit of a follow-up to my uh, watermelon videos. It's been uh, at least two weeks now since I did that first video where I said I'd, I'd cut up a couple of watermelons. They'd been there for ages and I thought they'd be ripe and I was really disappointed. Um, anyway, I've had a couple of comments, a couple of bits of feedback about them um, and I said I'd post another video. So I thought, well, it's, I said on that first one I'd leave them two weeks and I'd try again. Now, some of the comments I got back were saying that um, uh, were similar to what I'd already read, you know, about hollow, um, wait till this, uh, sort of you can see it on here, but wait till the, the stalks of the, um, where the vine joins onto the watermelon, um, that it was totally dead and dry and what have you. So these are my last three that I've got here, um, and they, they are completely, completely dried out. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I mean the vine is, Literally, it's just about dead now, right across the whole thing. So, I mean, if they're not ripe now, well, I must have planted them in the wrong season or something. But the other comments I got from it was also, and I had read this before, was roll them over and to have a look on the bottom and that where the watermelon is touching the ground, the watermelon, when they're first um, growing, this, this area here should be, would be white. And when they're ripe, that should have changed to a creamy colour. So, when I look at these now, it's definitely, there's no doubt in my mind that's a cream colour. I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera, but it's a really cream, almost almost brown colour there, you know, light brown. But, um, so, I said I haven't got much choice. The vine's nearly totally dead, so I'm going to pick one of these now. And then I'll take it inside and I'll... Um, to the video and you'll see for yourself whether it's a success or whether I've just got something completely wrong with my watermelon crop. <laughs> so all right I'll pick him, take it inside and um, uh, turn the camera on again. Cheers. Okay well, here we are. <clears throat> I don't know I'm not really holding my breath. I have a feeling that it's still the same for some reason I don't know. But anyway Let's give it a go and find out. It doesn't feel like it's a real soggy mess or anything. I don't think so. It's still green. It's just, I'm starting to, to think that um, the pretty, see, I didn't plant these, it just sort of came up in the garden. And I'm starting to think that maybe, I don't know, maybe. It's some sort of bush variety. No. It uh, doesn't ripen. But, you know, look, it's, it looks, smells like a normal watermelon inside. But it's just nowhere near ripe. It feels so green, like it's, feels like it's got miles to go. You know, so when, um, I posted there, you know, it's 35 days to grow watermelons. But it's yellow. Someone also told me the other day that there was a yellow variety of watermelon. But that's just not right. Anyway, there you go. I guess, you know, look, this is part of um, growing vegetables, you know. Like, um, for me, it was a huge part about learning. I know, I really discovered how much I didn't know about things. Like, I just, you know, how many times have you bought a watermelon from the supermarket and it's Cool, it's easy, and you wouldn't think it's difficult to grow it, or you wouldn't think it'd be so hard to figure out when it's right. Man, I don't know. Anyway, I'm down to two more left on the vine. Um, you know, there's no harm. I'll just leave them there, and I'll let them go for another. Well, maybe I'll leave one for another couple more weeks because it's starting to look a little bit yellow. Like I said, it's still sort of fine weather out here, so maybe there's a chance. But the vine's looking pretty dead. Maybe it's just not going to happen this year. Anyway, cool, I'll stick it up and <laughs> you guys can laugh at my um, lack of watermelon growing expertise. <laughs> oh, I'm just craving watermelon. It's not fair. Anyway, see ya. Thanks for watching. <laughs>